Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I am starting on my Glowforge Aura journey. So I wanted to document pretty much everything. I hope that you guys stay along for the ride and see how I grow as a Glowforge user. So this is my first laser cutting machine, and it just so happens that I'm one of the lucky creators that got to try out the Glowforge Aura first. So this is my very first Glowforge Aura project, and so I am super excited to just show you guys all the things that I'm learning and passing it along so there I'm sure that my products are gonna you know the things that I recommend will will continue to change and I will grow as a creator for uh, Glowforge um, but this is what I know so far very first project um, I love the aura I love cutting with the laser uh, I love all the projects that have come out so far but uh, let's get started though, just because you, you'll see why. Um, I'm a huge Cricut user, and so I uh, I do all sorts of crafting, right? Paper crafting, uh, vinyl sublimation with the vinyl, adhesive vinyl, as well as heat transfer vinyl. Um, but these projects are just different. They sort of come to life. So I, I really, I just, I love it. So these are keychains. They're baseball and softball mom keychains. My daughter is eight years old and they just won their championship, you know, for eight U. So, <laughs> so we love our, um, our softball here. So, okay. What I did was on the Glowforge Aura, I cut in wood. So, uh, similar piece to this, like this is how the, the wood sheets come. And I cut out this shape right here, which I have uh, this is similar, not quite the same, but similar. So I have this. So this cut out just a circle. It um, engraved the words baseball mom. And then I had an acrylic piece that we glued on top. And then I also have a bat. So first thing is, let's talk about the bat. I have another one right here. I love painting. So right now, what I it comes when you cut it off the mat or I'm so used to saying it off the map, but inside the machine, first off is I've been using the proof grade materials. And if you're wondering what that is, the Glowforge Aura and any of your Glowforge machines can cut products that are not proof grade. So proof grade just means that there's a barcode, it's from Glowforge, the machines will scan this barcode, will know exactly what material you're using, and will know how to cut it, score it, and engrave it so pretty much it's it's like a, you put it in close the lid and it scans and it knows what to do so it makes your projects pretty easy otherwise you may uh, you know like I was I used one uh, a couple items so far that are not proof grade and I had to make sure that the cut you know you have to test around and stuff so all right so I cut um, the bat and the keychain the backing of the keychain itself Okay, so the name here and on this bat, um, this line right here is an engraving line. So it doesn't cut through. So on the back side, you have a full bat. I kept the masking tape on. So the materials come in and they are taped top and bottom so that you don't burn the material as the laser cuts through it. So I conveniently, I leave it on because if you want to paint it, you paint it, let it dry, and then you peel off the masking tape. There's no cleaning to do. So I'm just going to show you how I did this one. I used regular, um, I just used acrylic paint, um, what I had already. And so far, I'm going to use the orange just to show you. Hopefully, it'll show up on camera really well. Um, all right. So you don't want the way I did mine, and I love the way it came came out. So I did my initial layer, and the paint kind of gets soaked into the wood. So right now when I'm putting it down, um, oh yeah, you can see it really well. Um, you know, the paint just falls in, and I'm not being overly generous, but I'm definitely not being cheap with the paint. But you'll see when you come back to it, it will have soaked in and it will look like I just did a very thin um, coating. So that's when I'm going to go in and put apply another coat. 
Um, I let it dry overnight. Um, and then just peeled it off and you'd be so, you'll be so surprised at how easily the masking tape comes up and that your project is nice and clean. Um, a couple things that I did the first time around, um, the first time I painted this, I wasn't sure <laughs> and I sort of over painted and then took a, like a wet napkin basically and, you know, wiped it off and then. Um, peeled off the masking tape right away and I just found that it didn't stay on as well and I think I have I may have some examples of that where it's possible that I threw it away so I, yeah I don't have it next to me like I thought I saved it but um, and I tried a couple different ways to paint it the next time I was super sloppy about it and got the paint on the edges and it turns out it's kind of difficult to get rid of the paint on the edges. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, so this this time around, I'm being a little bit more careful on the edge. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I was just really surprised at how easy it was to just, there's no cleaning up. If you don't get over the edge, then you can just paint it let it dry and peel off. Now, um, I don't know if you can kind of tell just yet, but the paint is kind of soaking in because you can kind of see, um, we can really see the word Charlotte now. Um, so I'm gonna apply, um, you can let it dry and then apply a little bit more paint once you're done with the edges. So I would just be careful around the edges, unless you don't care. I'll show you on the current keychain um, that I did not I was not very careful about it and I left the paint on there because it at first I tried to um, I tried to wipe it off like with just um, rubbing alcohol um, and then that didn't work so then I tried like sanding it off but I really didn't, I didn't invest too much time in it. I just wanted to look to see if it worked and it really wasn't taking it off either. So I realized you should just be really careful and not sloppy when you're painting it. <laughs> so, okay. Um, the name in the middle, I was able to put more paint down. So you could see like the C, H, and the A, the paint is starting to like soak in a little bit more. The R is still, you can barely see the R and you barely see the L and the O, but you'll see it's, it will start to soak in and then you'll just apply another round. So let me show you right now what, what this looks like. What my, my first attempt. So you see how there's paint right there. It was just sloppy. Um, but the front, and when you're looking just at the front, I love it. Um, you could see the orange, you could see the name, and it matches the orange acrylic, which is a proof grade material. Um, the wood is also proof grade. So it was just, I wanted to do that on my first project because I wanted to make sure it cut and I didn't have to worry about that portion of it. Um, but I love how this came out. And then the extra things, you know, I just bought on Amazon. You can see, I'll post the link in the description for all these like extra little fun things, but it is such a cute keychain, right? Okay, um, I'm gonna put this aside. I wanna talk about the acrylic and how I glue onto it. So I have a few more that I have on the side in different stages, right? So I used, one of the fun things about being on this campaign is we were able to sign up and this this goes for all new Glowforge users or Glowforge users in general. You can sign up to talk to um, an expert. So I, you know, and he had a 15 minute slot or a 30 minute slot. I took the 30 minute slot because I wanted to get all the information that I could. So I, I found out from him just little tidbits here and there. But one of the things that he um, recommended was to buy when you're gluing wood to wood or acrylic to acrylic acrylic to wood to buy these clamps and that way after you apply the glue you clamp down you let it sit for a day and then you know your piece is down I'm like oh that's so smart right? <laughs> it's in place so what happens is these clamps are very strong they're also on my Amazon shop um, they're really strong so the second that I put it down and it wasn't that I was super generous with the glue but because these clamps are so strong the if you have 
just a little bit too much glue, it's going to seep out. Um, and I found that cleaning it up, all you do is I took a Q-tip and I um, had rubbing alcohol and just kind of cleaned it up. On the wood, it's you. On this one, I didn't even clean up in between because it was barely noticeable. On acrylic, I cleaned it up a little bit. Like when it seeps out, you can kind of see the clear, the clear glue just sits on top. So, all right, so you're gonna need the clamps. Clamps are highly recommended. Uh, let's see, we talked about the paint. Now, when I glued this down, and I just have, I'm not gonna actually glue down an, another piece. I didn't cut it in time. I ran out of materials to cut the extra piece because I was too busy making all my friends keychains. <laughs> Look, you can see here. <laughs> so, okay, it comes with the masking tape on top, right? So you're gonna just peel it off. And I've been using my fingernails or I've taken like a um, the tweezers and kind of pulled at it. I did, I have ordered some supplies on Amazon that I may be testing out. There was like a little like squeegee, like a sharp squeegee to like push up the pieces. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that also to like clean up the glue to see if that's better. And um, I also, because we're about to glue this on right now, I found that I ordered these because they were recommended the Gorilla Glue, and I bought the minis just to make sure that I wanted them before I invested a, a ton. I, I am gonna buy more, I have bought more. They're being delivered soon. Um, but while I was searching on Amazon, I also found a Gorilla Glue, the super, um, super strong Gorilla, the clear Gorilla Glue strong hold. Um, I found one version where uh, it has the, you know, the precision tip, but also if you unscrew it, it has a brush, which I'm super looking forward to because that is how I uh, ended up applying the, the glue to the acrylic. Because these parts are kind of thin right here, um, the first time that I did it, I just took this, the, took the tip and, and applied the glue directly onto the acrylic. When I put the acrylic onto my wood and clamped it down, this is just too much glue. I didn't have a lot of control and I had a lot of cleanup to do. Um, although on wood, I will say it still looks pretty good. I can see the glue, the outline of the glue, uh, <clears throat> only because I'm concentrating on it. I think if I give to somebody this, I don't even think that they would think twice about it. Other than the fact that <laughs> this was my very first keychain and you can tell I did things out of order. Softball mom was engraved after the fact because I was like, oh, I just want to make sure it cuts right. So I cut the wood first and then went back and was like, oh, it did cut well. Let's, I didn't want to waste this blank. I ended up putting it back down and I didn't line it up properly. So that's why, but I kept it because I don't know, I'm sentimental and a little bit of a hoarder, and I also wanted to share my findings with you guys. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so I found out that like applying the glue directly on here was, um, I didn't like it, it was too much. So uh, I'm gonna put this aside, let it soak in a little bit more before we get to that. So what I have here is I have a silicone pad and I've been putting the glue down, and let me get my brush out. Um, I have been, applying the glue onto the silicone pad and then taking a brush and brushing it onto the piece that I'm gluing. So I will do that right now. Um, I definitely, like I said, I have more glue coming. I've got more products that I'm testing out. I'm super excited. I, I love these projects, as you can tell. Um, my second project is so stinking cute. <laughs> they are a bunch of different um, variations of earring holders. Um, the files that I'm using are from Kayla from the Salty Yankee. So she is making Glowforge uh, ready to cut files. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, so here is, I'm just taking my brush and, you know, brushing on the glue. And again, you don't want a lot of glue. You want it just to be on here because as soon as it clamps down, it's gonna squeeze out all the excess. It is strong. So, you know, you want it just like on there because you know it's gonna spread. So that's all you're gonna do. Make sure it's totally covered. And because this is just a sample and we're gonna get rid of it, um, I'm just gonna put it down here. 
and I'm um uh, you know <laughs> moving on to the Glowforge I'm still the same my personality of how I craft um, with paper crafting still applies to this I sort of overdo things I think I, you probably don't need this many clamps but I don't want it to be lopsided I wanted to make sure that the pressure is even on all sides and um, you just leave this overnight and it will be on there so let's undo these and I will show you all the ones that I made so I color coordinated all of them um, with their uniforms so Javi has an orange one, orange paint, orange acrylic. This one is red. So I've got Keaton and Sawyer is going to go on with this one. And um, is that the one that I'm going to do? I brought over. Oh, here are my pieces. I'm like, where did they go? I've got black. So let me show you all the different ones. I've got this one. This is the one <laughs> that has the uneven softball mom. So I'm probably just going to keep this. So this just has Charlotte on there with some fun doodads that she can put on her backpack. All right. So let's go back. Now that this is, this we're just going to add to the keychain, and then you're going to have this whole cute little thing right here. So adorable, right? Um, I just love these finished projects. They are, I mean, they just, they're durable and they make great gifts. I love it. Okay, going back to this. So now you can kind of see that the paint has soaked in a little bit. I'm gonna go one more round and um, make sure that the that the engraved lines like um, for the outline of the bat gets a little bit more paint because that is really thin, right? Um, the name Charlotte, the, the the name engraved, the letters engraved are a little bit thicker, so it you can see more of the orange. So with that line that's just like a thin line around the bat, it is on the thinner side, so I want to make sure that every every um, square inch of that opening has the orange paint. And let me show you, because it does, you can see the red all the way around it. I do want to show you, um, let's see. The red, this is blue, and you saw Charlotte's. This one I did, oh, you know, because it was my first project, I was testing things out and realized like, oh, I didn't do engraving for this outline. I did a cut line, so it cut all the way through. But if I put a little keychain right here, it would still stick together. It's not, I mean, it's still pretty cute, and it's not a bad idea if that's what if that was your intention but that was not my intention I'm still keeping it um, okay let's paint this one more round and then we're like almost done with the first project so easy right to assemble it's fun I love these um like I said I've cut quite a few things and I'm just in love with the aura and if you haven't seen it, I have an unboxing video, sort of an unboxing. It shows you the aura with the filter, and um, I do do a first cut with it, so you can see that. And I will also have my first project up, so you can look. I've got quite a few videos on the aura. So excited to be part of this launch and to be able to get my hands on it and be able to play with it early. Um, so you can see like all the, all the different videos on the Aura. And I'm excited to just continue growing with this machine and doing, um, all sorts of projects. Sort of, you know, I want to do it just sort of like all my crafting, um, you know, learning the machine, getting you guys on board so that you understand how to do it and then let my creativity like really take off and like what can we do with this machine and make crazy crazy useless things <laughs> that we don't need but also like seriously can't live without i love my little keychain my daughter is super i mean i know she's she tries to hold it in but i think she's super pleased that i have you know the keychain with with the bat with her name on it, so.
And then I did let everything dry overnight. Um, at first I was really worried about how difficult it was or how difficult I thought it might be peeling off the masking tape, but it didn't matter. And I did test out like, you know, when I layered on the paint super thick or if I didn't, it really didn't matter. The peeling off of the masking tape was super easy. I just had a pair of tweezers, peeled it off, the whole thing came off. The only part that it, that was a little difficult, and I just say a little difficult because in comparison, it didn't just come right off, is the inside of the letters, like the inside of the A or the O. Um, my tweezers, you know, I wanted to make sure that I didn't peel off any paint and just peeling off the masking tape. So that just took a little bit more time than, you know, straight pulling off the tape. All right, so that is in there. Um, that's how you paint a project. I did the same thing with this on the inside. Um, and we covered the glue and the clamps. That's all there is. And look how cute this is, right? So I've got these two so far. Um, I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I do. And I promise you, whoever you give this to is going to love it. And um, the file comes with just with just the baseball and the bat so you can use whatever font you want for the bat not put a name on the bat put or put the team name and same thing here it doesn't have to be softball mama it could just be your name it could be I love softball whatever it is whatever font that you can just go in and add and I'm going to show you that in the video on how to use the actual app to with this design so that you have the full project all right i will see you guys next time post your comments and oh the last thing that i'll leave you with is right now um it, it just launched so it's available at joann's and michael's exclusively for two weeks and then afterwards if you're still on the fence and that's when you purchase i will make sure come back to the video i will make sure that my link for the aura is here where i get you know with you supporting my links, um, I do get paid on that. And I thank you for supporting me. All right. See you guys next time.